Hey everyone, it's Amy Nakos. For today's video, we're in my bedroom. It's true. This video today is going to talk about how you can change your color scheme in a room from creamy yellow tones to more gray tones. And here's the kicker, when you have brown wood trim. So this is the thing in the mountains. Um, we have a lot of wood trim. It's beautiful. But a lot of people are wanting now to go from the creamy colors that were done in the early 2000s, yellows and golds, and move into the gray tones. But they're left with this wood trim, this warm wood trim, the blinds, and maybe even some furniture that goes with it, along with tile butting up against that room. So that's what we're going to talk about today. How do you go from the cream tones to the gray tones when you have warm tones existing in both wood trim and tile? Here we go. So as a real estate broker, I see dozens of homes, and here's the major mistake that I see. People know right now, if they want to update their carpet and paint, that grays are the color that are super hot. What they're doing, however, is they're just maybe going to Lowe's or just going and picking out a gray carpet and a gray paint, slapping it up, and they've got this wood trim that exists. And I've just seen disasters where the carpet, when it gets installed, it looks blue, or the walls look blue, and the carpet looks a brownish gray. So you got to be careful when picking grays. I have Jen Delo with me today of Life Shine Design, and she's going to talk to us about how to choose gray tones when you have these other considerations. So we're using my room as an example because I had this exact same issue. How do we go from this creamy yellow paint? The paint that's on the wall is called vellum on one wall and the one behind me it's a khaki green I'm not even really sure what color it's called it was a Benjamin Moore color the first thing that I chose to do was to get new bedding Come on. I started with new bedding so the bedding I had in here was a yellow duvet cover and I chose this bedding this is the starting point for me I got it at Tuesday morning and I went with a more taupe a grayish taupe color with grayish white pillows and a little love pillow so this is, this is where the inspiration began. Here's the paint colors that I started with on the walls. The paint colors for the walls started off with, I'm using Sherwin-William colors. The first was a color called uh, alpaca, alpaca. And I, you'll see that on the photo that I put up there. I painted over alpaca, alpaca was there. This one's called agreeable gray. I don't know how agreeable. It really is. And the final color we're going with is called Accessible Beige. Now, what you can see from Agreeable Gray to Accessible Beige is the undertones are super different. This color ended up looking very purple and very blue in this room, whereas this color is blending with the bedding, looks good with the trim, and most importantly, also looks good with the travertine tile. So I have Jen Delo with Life Shine Design with me, and as you can see, I had a wardrobe change. My hair's down now. And we're gonna I'm gonna have her answer some questions about how you choose gray tones when you have trim that is warm along with warm tile and warm blinds. Yeah. Okay, Jen, <laughs> thanks for being here in my bedroom for the video. Um, Jen is a great designer. Her company's called Life Shine Design, and today we're gonna be talking about how how I started out without her help and how she had to come in and uh, direct me in the right direction with grays. So let's just talk briefly about grays, Jen. Tell us why are grays so hard to pick? Grays are really hard to pick because they resonate purple or blue or pink, red in your home and you have to understand how the shadowing is going to affect those grays in your space. Um, all grays have some little bits, maybe even just one drop of red added to them, and that will change how they appear in your shadows. Yeah, so let's take a look at these three colors right here. This, these are the colors I started with, and I was telling Jen, these all look the same to me. And she says, really? And it's because they look so different from a little one inch snippet when you put them on the wall, and then you can see the undertones. Okay, Jen, so now in my bedroom, you came in here and I have this wood trim, I've got wood blinds, I've got furniture that's this cherry color. Tell us, how you, how do you manage that? You have to be really careful that the grays that you're choosing are actually have a beige undertone. 
that will tie it all together. Mm -hmm. And you can't go really dark on your gray, um, on the paint color anyway, and you want for your gray to resonate a little bit brown in your shadowing. Got it. So why wouldn't you go dark? The darker tones, if you want to flash back over here. Yes. This is called Tony Taupe. Yes. And it's so it's a taupe. You would think that's a gray tan, mm -hmm. but it resonates really green in here. Um, it does pull out some of the colors in your trim, but it's going to be way too dark for your whole space. Yeah. We decided that was just too saturated for us. It's, a, it's And it's muddy. It's a little bit muddy. 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 Mm -hmm. There you go, fans. Muddy. We're gonna take a second to talk about the travertine and the considerations with that. Cause we have travertine tile here on the fireplace and then you can see it's also on the floor of my bathroom. So Jen, what do we, what do, we do about this travertine? So in the travertine, there are a variety of colors in here. There is some gray. So we were able to look through here and try to match this color to some of the variety in the travertine tile. Um, this color worked really well because we also have this color in some of this trim. Mm -hmm. So it was able to pull all of this together. Mm -hmm. And you have to be careful that you're pulling gray tones from existing furniture or accessories within your home so that you, so that it matches and it's pulling everything together. Grays are not often found in, in tiles and in furniture that may have been purchased a few years ago. So that's that's the key. That's mm -hmm. the that's the trick. Because it's kind of a new thing. And we have a guest appearance with my dog, Chester. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jen. The next thing we're going to talk about is how you helped us choose the carpet. Because I would have never, ever in a million years picked the carpet you chose. So tell us how you chose the carpet here. Because right now we've got, I call it sort of mocha or cappuccino or it's gross. The carpet's gross. But <laughs> <laughs> So we chose a really dark brown carpet. Um, that allowed us to pull in some of the darker tones from the trim. Yeah, let's look at that. And so the trim plays off the paint color and the carpet. Um, we also have vaulted ceilings in here, so a darker carpet will help ground this from a feng shui perspective, uh, opposite the vaulted ceilings. Um, and also with choosing this paint color and having the lighter travertine around, you want some of that contrast. Mm -hmm. That color is also found in the furniture that we have. Yeah, so we have a lot of black accents in our furniture. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the things you mentioned is that this dark carpet, it's really dark. It's pretty dark. It's pretty dark. It's gonna pick up a lot of that black. Mm -hmm. And a lot of your frames on your uh, yeah. pictures are black. They are. Your lamps are black. So you have a lot of really black clean accent up. in here. Yeah, I didn't really clean up the room for this video. So this is real life, <laughs> real life stuff. And it's time for the big reveal of my bedroom. Here you're going to see the bedding. You're going to see it butted up against the new carpet. Here's the carpet along the trim. You'll see it in the laundry room by the travertine tile next to the bathroom. And here are some shots of the carpet next to the fireplace and next to the furniture. We're really thrilled with the color of the carpet and the way everything turned out. And now back to Jen. All right, well, hey, thank you, Jen. Give us, how can we find you online? Um, I'm on Facebook, Life Shine Design. We'll put her link to her design page. Thanks for joining us today on How Do You Go Gray When You're All Creamy and uh, <laughs> Stay tuned for more videos. I'm Amy Nakos. Thank you.